Hello everyone, my name is Tati and welcome to my channel. So today's video is going to be my diagnoses, plural. So I'm going to talk about the things that I've been diagnosed with as of right now. So today is December 29th, 2017. So I'm just going to talk about the things I've been diagnosed with up to this point. So I have been sick for basically my whole life, but for the past 10 years, I have been fairly ill and we've been trying to figure out why I'm sick. I started going to the Cleveland Clinic almost a year ago. My first appointment was March of this year. There, we kind of talked with the neurologist and he and explained to him all the symptoms that I had and we started to pursue a diagnosis of POTS or postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome. So POTS is a form of orthostatic intolerance uh, that is associated with the presence of excessive tachycardia and many other symptoms upon standing. When a normal person lays down and then stands up, your blood rushes from your head down to your feet and back up. Somebody with POTS, our blood vessels don't constrict the way that they're supposed to, they stay open, meaning that your blood pulls in your legs and a lot of people experience tachycardia, so a high heart rate, presyncope or syncope, which is Syncope means that you pass out. Symptoms include lightheadedness, fainting, rapid heartbeat, there are many other things, and POTS is a type of dysautonomia. Dysautonomia is the dysfunction of any part of your autonomic nervous system. It is the system in your body that controls things that you don't have to think about, like your heartbeat or your stomach, that kind of thing. Now, I had a tilt table test done where basically they put you up on a table and they tilt you upwards and then they record like your heart rate, your blood pressure, those kinds of things. My tilt table test concluded that I had POTS. This explains some of my symptoms like the fact that when I stand up, if I stand up too quickly, my heart rate goes up. A lot of times if I have been on my feet for too long, my heart rate goes up, I start to feel dizzy and lightheaded and I, it can cause me to pass out. So the first thing that I was diagnosed with was POTS. Secondly, I started seeing a rheumatologist this year, so not too long ago, I went to go see a rheumatologist and I talked to her about some joint pain that I was having. I have often where my wrists or my elbows, my knees, my hips will get inflamed and they will be like very painful. She diagnosed me with early onset osteoarthritis. Now osteoarthritis is a type of arthritis that occurs when flexible tissue at the ends of the bones are worn down. So basically, the tissue that between your joints that keeps your joints moving has been worn down from excessive use. Most of the time, osteoarthritis is diagnosed when you're in your 50s or your 60s, once you're older and your joints have been worn for your whole life. However, I'm only 20 years old, so the reason that I have osteoarthritis was unknown at the time because I'm young, so I shouldn't have osteoarthritis yet. But my final diagnosis that I just got not too long ago would explain that. So I was diagnosed with Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome. Now, Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome is a connective tissue disorder and I went into great depth about it in my video called What is EDS? So I will link that below so that you can watch that and kind of figure out what exactly EDS is. But like I said, it's a connective tissue disorder. Your body is full of connective tissue. There are 12 systems in your body and all of those systems use connective tissue because connective tissue connects all the things together. And collagen is another thing that is in your body that keeps things together. It's basically the glue of your body. When you have EDS, collagen is defective. So that would explain a lot of symptoms that I've been having. Um, and finally getting these di the diagnosis of these three things, POTS, osteoarthritis, and EDS, has really given me a sense of like freedom. I finally feel understood and that I wasn't like crazy and that what I was feeling was valid. And it's really hard when you are sick for a really long time because doctors like start to not believe you. And I think even like family members start to kind of question whether or not you're actually sick, which is understandable because when you've been sick for so long and doctors keep telling you that you're okay, you start to question that you're crazy too. But I promise you're not it's gonna be okay. And I'm just really excited that I finally got a diagnosis. So moving forward, I am almost, not almost, I am positive that there will be a couple more things that I will be diagnosed with. Um, I have some issues with my stomach that needs to be addressed. I have some issues with hives where I just kind of randomly break out in hives and random things make me sick. I have issues with my ovaries. I get cysts on those. So there are a couple of things that 
need to be addressed going forward and I will probably get a few more diagnoses in the future but these are the three things that I was recently diagnosed with that I really wanted to talk about. This will be my second Sunday that I'm uploading a Spoonie Sunday video so I, I think that I'm going to move forward with this throughout the year and see how it goes. I want to upload a video that has to do with chronic illness, spooniness, you know, throughout the rest of the year on Sundays and see how that goes. And then I also want to upload like one or two other videos throughout the week just about random things. Some of them may be spoony related, some of them maybe not. I haven't really decided. Um, I think I'm just going to film the things that I want to film and upload them and I don't really care if they get views or not because that's not what this is about. This is just giving me an outlet for, you know, something to do because being sick you have a lot of free time. So you have to, you know, figure something out to do. But yeah, I hope you really enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, like, comment, subscribe, all those things that I'm supposed to say.